All right, here we are coming down to a place called Walking Street in Pattaya, which is a, well, it's like, as the name suggests, Walking Street. It's all about the nightlife for Pattaya. And if you have a look at it, it's got pavers on the ground. And it's sort of like their version of Las Vegas. It's got everything. So let's go for a walk down here first and come back. <coughs> There's, what's that, a, a liquor store? Oh, somebody's boxing. That's interesting. That's cool. <coughs> All right. Uh, what else have we got here? We have Pin up a go go, <laughs> moon a go go. It's actually coming up to seven o'clock on a Tuesday night, so I don't know how rowdy it's going to get. What's this one? The car car, the the car a go go. What the hell is this go go business? XO club. <clears throat> Another a go go, a Paul a go go, ten. Tantra a go-go? Have to find out what a go-go means. So... So the sun's just gone down, so it's probably the perfect time to do it. Before it gets so rowdy. So I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm going to have to find something to eat. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Apple a go-go? Interesting. There's a classic 7 Eleven. Quite a few tourists around. Uh, 808, whatever that means. Sensations a go go. Uh, somebody's offering something. What's this? Sex show. Oh wow, that's cool. Sex show, awesome. Ah, not doing that. Definitely not doing that. See what else they're offering. What's this? Special affairs. Yeah, they say that you can get a bodyguard if you come down this street. They say there are pickpockets and things like that. My shorts I've got on at the moment are zipped up tight. Um, they say there's pickpockets and if you come down here, it's mostly safe, but if you don't want to have the, the stress about being safe, you can, and if you want to just let yourself go and have a few drinks and, and whatever else, you can get hire a bodyguard to come with you. And they can hang you with you for the entire night. Frog's Land. Walking Street, Pataya. Sea Zone. Lighthouse a go go, there's another 7 Eleven tattoo. Dolls Walking Street. Okay, I think this is the end of it just up here. Who knows where I'm going to get food from, but anyway, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just get a, a your Green Island, sell weed or marijuana. There's another one here, the Old Weed Man. There's another 7-Eleven. Far out, how many 7-Elevens do they need in this place? This place. The Stones House. Wow, that's cool. And this looks like the, um, I'll get this from the other side so we can see it. You can see the sign there, Walking Street. So 
I'll cross over as soon as we can get across. Cross with the rest of the people. It's the way to do it. All right, let's spin this around. There's Walking Street there. You gotta be careful I don't get run over. And what's this? World Gems, wow. Okay, so that's one half of Walking Street. The taxi driver dropped me off halfway in the middle, so I don't know, didn't know which way to go. But if you keep going down here, this is some other stuff as well. <coughs> so what we might do is um, turn around and I'll get the other half shortly. All right, I've come into this bar. Um, I don't know what the name of it is. It's basically at the end of um, um, a walking street. But as you can see on the menu there, you've got different sizes of beer. The local Chang beer. So you've got small, big jug or tower. And you overlook, that's the big. Right, that's like a, a, li a close to a litre. And the, excuse me, where's the jug? Where's the tower? Yeah, where's the tower? Have a look. So, so that's the tower. So you obviously take that to your table. Two litres. Wow, okay. All right, here's the other half of Walking Street. We were like here before with the boxing. And if we go back here, I don't know how far back down we go. Tattoos, if you wanna do tattoos are all here. Food, living dolls, more marijuana. All right, what's down here? It's more spaghetti. The cables in the air. There's a cool bar there. It's not bad. Big bar. Quite a few tourists. Ice cream shop. Oh, Turkish ice cream. Guys from Turkish. And a good old kebab shop, which I'm sure will be popular at night. All right, another weed shop. God, there's weed shops galore. Bar. Here you go, THC. CBD. Uh, there's a family mart, which is like the, one of the popular convenience stores. Not as popular as 7-Eleven though. <coughs> but it's pretty popular here in Thailand. What's this? We've got a jewellery shop because once you have a few you can always propose to the, the woman that you met on that night, the first night. Propose to somebody the first night you met them. Gun shooting, cool. Ah, what's this? Two, two brothers. massage place. It's odd having that stuck in the middle of all the other shops. All right, a few little markets on the left hand side. A little mall. Okay, I think we're getting out of the whole nightclub-y scene. And this is more of the sort of the shops. Actually, there's one here, Kamar Club, whatever that is. Maccas, can't go wrong with Maccas. It's everywhere, in every country in the world. Huh. Night out nightclub, must open later on. Nightclub, Indian nightclub. Huh. Bollywood, okay, this must be the Indian section. Okay, what's in here, that's cool. A few flamingos. Tunnel nightclub. Bollywood Club Patea. What's down there? Russian girl show, wow. Okay, 
Okay, this is a Russian part. <clears throat> Starting to thin out now. Bollywood again. Seafood steakhouse. Yeah, it's Tuesday night, so I don't think it's going to get that busy. Although, it is a tourist place, so I guess it doesn't really matter what night it is. Every night it's going to be busy. Especially in a tourist place like this. Tourists are on holidays. What's this? Another cafe and bar. <laughs> Blue Thailand. Uh, what's this? Windy Inn Hotel. Pretty flash. Um, and I think, what's this? Blow Thailand Laguna. Okay, and I think this is pretty much the end of it. Indy Beach Bar and Restaurant. Which has lots of people in it, not. And then we're getting in down to nowhere land. So that's it. There is a walking street. Top to bottom. It reminds me of a bit like old Vegas. Not the main strip, but you know, old Vegas, the strip that was before the current strip. Sort of reminds me of that in a way, sort of. Although, obviously it's smaller. Uh, it also sort of reminds me of King Cross in a way too. Hello, welcome Cafe Bustro. Hey. Hello, welcome Cafe Bustro. What was he trying to sell? Couldn't even understand what he was trying to say. Wow, they're nice shirts. Beautiful shirts. Yeah, it's not a bad place. I can see some potential here. So we've seen McDonald's already. If you watched the other YouTube video I did. I saw the, we saw the McDonald's menu. It's pretty much exactly the same. And yeah, Here's some other street, I don't know what it is, but it runs parallel to Walking Street. Uh, 
spin around is probably more exciting. There's the buses. That is a bus over there. You just sit on it. There you go, there's another bus. You sit sideways at the back. That's the local bus. All right, let's walk through this way. Let's see what's here. So we've got a little laneway to go from the street that we were just on to Walking Street. In here, there's like a some sort of a bar, the pub, another bar. It's very narrow, so only motorbikes can go down here. The Windmill Club. We saw the Windmill Bar before. Black Horse. So it's all these cute little uh, bars and stuff. You can sit outside and then, I don't know why you would. It's not much to look at. It's a tiny little little street. If, even if you call it a street. Here you go. We're middle club. I think there must be working girls, I would say. Russian girl show. Interesting. Oh, here we go. An Aussie bar. <laughs> but it's not even playing Australian music. What's here? Here's the Aussie bar here. How much is here? Aussie bar. Here we go. 1970. Where's the VB? Do they know that no one drinks VB in, a, in Australia? Quite a bit of action happening on a little tiny side street of Walking Street. This looks interesting. And yeah. Okay, so this is some like mall on the off Walking Street. It's a mall of bars. I don't know if you can see it that well in the light, but you guys, you can see there's a whole bunch of people here. Like they're all like waving me down, like come to my bar, come to my bar. And it's like, wow. Now that I've got the phone out and the camera out, they're sort of like, they've gone quiet now. But as I walked in, it's like, over here, over here, over here. Because <laughs> it's obviously like what's happened is the, after COVID, it's just started up again and everyone is desperate to start making money again and fill up the place, which makes sense because I'm a tourist. Like now they've literally shut up completely. But anyway, they tried their hardest, literally. I had a whole bunch of ladies waving menus at me to try and get me to eat there and... and... Tattoos. No, I don't want a tattoo. It's actually good at having the phone out videoing because people just generally leave you alone. It's funny how people don't like being videoed. Hello. Some of them don't mind, but no. well, this is draft beer. Why are not doing that? There's a working girl. What's this place? Huh. Cheap sunnies. Green Island. So yeah, we've sort of been down here already. All right, another walk down Walking Street. This time it's after nine o'clock, and it's totally changed. There's people everywhere. Up 
like tourist galore. Wow, band. Where's the ice cream guy going? Tuesday night.
Living dolls. They seem to like playing Snoop Dogg around here. I wonder why. Wow. Yeah. 